Jimmy the GM here with you with another quick look at the 2018 NBA Draft. And today I will look at my most underrated point guard in this entire draft. Now you know I'm a big Trey Young fan and I believe Trey Young is the best player in the draft both by skill set and the style of, of play he plays. Now there is one player that is sort of an imitation of Trey Young although he's older and just really fits into how the NBA game is going. We look at now the small point guard and just how effective he is in the NBA. Guys like Damian Lillard, even a Darren Collison of or Patty Mills and lesser roles. Just because you're small doesn't mean you can't play in the league, especially when you can shoot from deep. Now this one guy can definitely do that, and that is Jalen Adams of St. Bonaventure, not to be mistaken for the Jalen Adams who plays for the Connecticut Huskies. Now, Adams listed at 6'2", 190. I couldn't get a clear uh, read on what his actual measurements are, including wingspan, but we'll go with 6'2", 190, knowing he can be anywhere between 6' foot and 6'2", in that area. But as a junior, he averaged 20 points per game, 6.5 assists per game. Last season as a senior, 19 points per game, 5 assists per game on 43% from the field, also 43% from three-point line. Got to the foul line, 6 free throw attempts per game and hit 85% when he was there. His usage rate, usage rate was 25%, assist rate 28%, 16% turnover rate. Those are all in line with what you expect of a point guard who's featured as much as he, he is. He led St. Bonaventure to the NCAA tournament, and part of his play in the tournament is probably why he's not getting a lot of hype now. He really had a golden opportunity to separate himself in the NCAA tournament, but he didn't. In two games against UCLA and Florida, he averaged 33 minutes per game. Only shot 4 of 15 from twos and missed all eight of his three-point attempts. But when you do further digging, you'll see that in his previous three games to that point, he averaged 39 minutes per game, shooting 23% from the three-point line. Basically, he was worn out towards the end of the last season. A little what you saw in Trey Young as well. But Adams really was an important part of the St. Bonaventure team, helped leading them to their surprising uh, run in the NCAA tournament beating UCLA in that game against UCLA he was matched up against Aaron Holiday one of their other top point guards in this draft while I mentioned his offensive stats weren't too hot he did compete on the defensive end coming up with three steals and helping force Holiday to 10 turnovers for that game uh, Adams also was able to get to the free throw line, his standard six free throw attempts per game. Now, Florida eliminated St. Benaventure for the tournament. Well, you might say that rising competition was too much for Adams to handle, but you have to remember as a junior, he dropped 20 points on the Florida Gators in a seven point early season loss. Uh, this past season, he also had 23 points in a win over Syracuse. And as a sophomore against the Syracuse team that eventually went to the Final Four, he put up 16 points and 7 assists. Uh, going into his senior season on the college level at the Adidas uh, Nations Counselor uh, event, it was just the competition amongst the counselors at Adidas Nation, he was able to help lead his team to the championship there. Averaging 14 points per game, shooting 47% from the field, 3 assists per game in 20 minutes of work. Uh, put up similar numbers in a similar uh, styled event at the Portsmouth uh, to start off this draft season where he put up 14 points per game on 45% shooting from the field and 35% shooting from the three-point line. Uh, 4.7 assists to 1.3 turnovers. That was in 27 minutes of action. Did have some foul trouble at that event, but once again, these two events were against high major college type talent. So I don't think 
his play in the NCAA, NCAA tournament is an indicative that he can't handle higher competition. He just has to get used to it. When you watch him play, he just has a feel for the game, not quite as sound or uh, extravagant as Trey Young's feel, but he has a similar feel and also similar deep range three point shooting can knock down shots from a deep distance and also coming off pick and rolls he's a threat to shoot it or pass it also can push the ball ahead there's a lot to really like about his game you have to wonder about his measurements and also his athleticism I see him similar to a Shabazz Napier type athlete and also he can fit into that backup point guard role with high end maybe down the line starting for someone sort of what you saw with Aaron Brooks at time in his career. Uh, I think that's great value if you get him in the second round or as an undrafted free agent. So that's why he makes the mark as my top or at least most underrated point guard in this 2018 draft. All right, once again, Jimmy the G him looking at another prospect for the 2018 NBA draft. If you like the channel, tell your friends about it. If you're new to the page, subscribe, press the like button, and you'll continue to get more content like this. Once again, Jimmy the GM. Thanks.